I'm not supposed to do this, but I've still got to do this. Um, it's been a wonderful week. Uh, it's been a wonderful period. And uh, I am happy that each and every one of you, my top fans, um, my followers, my haters, those that still don't believe in me, those that believe in me, WhatsApp members, new believers, um, you've been following and you know what is happening. And um, before I continue, I want to apologize for those of you who have paid for consultation. For the past two weeks, I have been busy. So this coming Friday, I will be going to the sea for consultation. I'm still going to consult for you. The truth is this. You cannot control what happens in this physical realm, except you are in the world of the spirit. Hence, we have spiritual controls the physical. And uh, at the same time, as long as we still vibrate in this plane, it is not everything you can control physically from the spiritual realm. So the fact that I've not done your consultation definitely means there is something beautiful ahead of all of you. So today I will be giving these videos. I'm going to do about three series of videos. I will be giving reports of what happened in uh, Wari, what happened in Asaba, and what happened in Portacot. And this is going to be a lesson for all of you, especially for those of you who still find my movement, my call, um, a little bit uneasy to relate with, or you still find it difficult to understand that um, this is actually a message from the gods, from the moderates to the world at large. Now, I will be talking about mainly about how much I spent in this trip. You must know. So those of you who think uh, I'm a scam and uh, taking money from people and the rest of you must know this. That the instruction was that worry, whoever is in worry, create a WhatsApp group, invite me, get a place I will come and meet you, prepare a place we can go and do blood sacrifice or any form of ritual I would want to do for you people. I will take care of my flight, my accommodation, my feeding and everything. I also sent a message to the Asaba people and the Potakot. Uh, Alhamdulillah, those from Asaba, they were able to do according to their power, also Potakot. So now I'm going to give you review of what I spent and everything that happened in worry. Worry number one, there was no one who took the initiative to organize something in worry. There was no one who took the initiative to organize my coming in worry. So when I was in worry, I made an announcement that I was in worry. Despite the fact that I canceled the movement to Delta State, I still came and I was hoping one or two people were going to reach me. Okay, we're going to organize ourselves and do something, meet us here. There was no one. I spent over 300,000 Naira for accommodation. We're not talking about feeding. We're not talking about over 200 and something thousand I spent for security that was going to be around. I also, some money I paid to a driver who drove me around. Uh, one Urobo boy, not my friend who helped me out, one of the Urobo men that drive me around. So, so far, worry, I spent close to 800,000 Naira in worry alone. We're not talking about the drinks that followed. Um, to make sure that I meet people in worry. And then um, within worry visit, I visited the Iyede festival where I spent close to 500,000. I think I remember my visit to worry, which also covered the Isoko, I bought several cartons of exotic wines that sprang to the sum of 500,000 Naira. The first one was 57,000. The other one was around 48,000. The first set was 120 something thousand. Then, when I was to move to Worry, I bought two different cartons of exotic, not like carton of wine, cotton wine, no, several expensive wine I bought. The minimum was 3,800. 
the minimum for libation was 3,000. The rest was 6 something, 14 something, 12 something, and the rest. So, in Wari Isoko movement alone, close to 1 point something million was spent, excluding, excluding other personal movement I went to. My trip to the Uzi River, the river Uzi that was named after Uzi, the ritual I did, I remember the elders and every other thing that happened. I spent roughly almost two to three hundred thousand. So if I must put all those together, I spent close to about one point something million. My movement to worry and rituals I did. I did a ritual. I would I would post all of those videos. Don't worry. I have the whole of this year to post all of those videos and the prayers I prayed for you. Some of you are already experiencing that prayer because you are watching me. You did not watch the video. I have not posted the video. But things are already happening in your life. There is changes in your life. They, as a result of those things I did, you will see them. When they come, you will know that, oh, this guy actually did something. Nobody welcomed me. And after which, I migrated to Asaba. Asaba welcomed me. I paid for my own accommodation. I stayed at the All Stars Born Hotel Asaba. And um, I actually paid for two days and later I, I reapplied for a refund. Since where I will be doing the meeting with Asaba people, the Ahaba people uh, was going to be okay. Now, <laughs> okay, I think let's, let's do it this way. So that was how Worry Trip went to. Now, to round up Worry Trip reports, you need to know this. The moment I left Worry, different people in Worry said to me, Sir, I heard you are in Worry. Can I come and see you? Sir, I was busy. This, that, that. A lot of you don't have. 30,000 naira to talk to me on the phone. You don't have 50,000 naira to pay to see me face to face. You don't have 100,000 naira to pay me for consultation. You don't have 150,000 naira to pay for face to face consultation. You don't have 500,000 to buy bid. You don't have 1 million to buy bid. You don't have 2 million to buy bid. You don't have 1.5 million to buy fortified or geolocum. You don't have 70,000 naira for fortified oil. You don't have 30,000 naira for fortified salt. Now, all I said, gather yourself together. The more the crowd, the lesser money you pay. This time around, you are able to see me one on one, talk to me. Let's reason your matter together. Let me talk to you. And make you understand that some of the things you watch on the internet I talk is just a um, small grain in an ocean of sand. But no. Now I'm here in Lagos. I want to see you. A lot of you that says I am scam. I'm trying to eat people's money. Tell me, what did I gain from going to worry? I would have loved to show my account details when I left. What did I gain? Tell me what I gained financially from, okay, when I use the word, what did I gain? What did people I went to go and meet in, what did they give me? I didn't even meet anybody I spent money. Before you come to my post and call me scam, ask yourself, can you do what I am doing? Can you have sleepless nights? Can you drive 12 in the midnight, 1 a.m. to a beach? You don't know what is waiting for you at the road. If I am not God, why will I be doing that? Do you think God needs his subject's money? Uzi, I don't need your money. I have a tendency to give you all the... But the question here is this. I can give you everything for free. The question here is this. If I start give, going to the market, calling ye ye, bring bid from Balogo for me. Expensive bid, original. Are you seeing what I'm wearing? Bring a local bid, bid all those ones. I will start making them. Having sleepless night to make them go to the river, fortify, call out spirits unto them, and then give you their take for free, or take for five thousand or ten thousand. Where will the extra money come from to keep buying those beads? 
Okay. I own Quick TV Africa. One Stream Limited. I'm an operations manager to Zixin Oil and Gas. I'm an image consultant to different companies. I should use the money that my ancestors blesses me with, with the work of my hand, for doing what I'm supposed to do. What Africa has blessed me with, to buy the beats and give you. The sleepless night. The night my boss will call me, have you done the project, what we asked you to do? We told you to do this thing and prepare in the next one week. Have you done it? Because I have to attend to you, I failed doing it. How am I going to meet up? Do you think if I decide to follow all of you that want me to do these things as cheap as possible, I will last? There is a car behind this camera. There is a car in front of this camera. There is a car here. That's the new one I bought last night while coming from Portacourt. That's it you are seeing there. They are going to work on it to make it newer version. They are going to work on it to make it a newer version because I don't want them to look alike. And that was why I posted the newer version of it. Another show off is there. Another E-Class is there. All the cars you see in this company, if you put them together, they are running to hundreds million that I can use to buy and put into businesses. Uh, are you buying the car for us? I'm buying the cars. You know I have plenty of cars. If I use this one this week, use this one the other week, this one will the rest. And so when I tie for this one, I sell this one cheap or I dash them out. And I'm expanding. Times are going to come that people will come to see me and they may be up to 10. We want to go out, drive, drive, drive. We they convert the gold. You see now, what that? Now, who's the people they come? Tell me what I gain from worry. Nothing. Now, the next video will be the report from Asaba.